The University of Colorado Boulder will be participating in the Amazon Picking Challenge 2014 using a Baxter robot in our perception and manipulation pipeline. 3D perception and segmentation of products will be accomplished using color-based unsupervised spatio-temporal segmentation and motion-based object verification approach developed by Gabe Sibley's group. Live recordings from static and mobile RGBD cameras are matched against the database that has been recorded prior to the competition. This allows us to not only uniquely identify objects, but also obtain their 3D pose, which is important for grasping. Motion planning will be accomplished with the Move It framework, of which team member Dave Coleman is a major contributor to. We will integrate our lab's experience-based planning research to speed up and make more predictable motion paths while utilizing expensive cost functions to ensure high-quality motions. In this visualization, we are using our lab's Baxter robot to pick randomly sized products that were loaded from the example JSON file provided by the Amazon Challenge. We have already implemented most of the major shelf picking and order fulfillment components necessary for the competition. We also demonstrate in this video automatic grasp generation and selection using in-house software packages, as well as usage of both Baxter's arms depending on kinematic reachability. We believe one of the main challenges to this competition will be smarter generation and selection of grasps given arbitrary placement poses within the shelf bins. Our team will devote a large amount of effort in this dexterous manipulation problem by testing various ineffector configurations. We are exploring several approaches to grasping products using under-actuated, tendon-driven, articulated fingers. For the competition, we've already built the Yale Open Hand, which we believe will provide compliance in conforming to various product sizes and shapes. We've also been developing our own in-house soft fingers that can control their curvature and pressure and allow for compliant grasps. Finally, we are also developing a soft, amorphous skin based on the physiology of human skin. Sensing nodes are distributed throughout the skin to measure tactile stimuli, such as pressure and vibration. Local neighborhoods of nodes collectively perform tasks such as localizing the source of a stimuli.